first started, I'm going to be showing you the Very Bases bundle and the Stamparatus because I struggled with some of the tiny stamps. Um, it's, a, it's a cute, fun set, but I kind of struggled with some of the tiny stamps lining them up and stuff. So I want to show you some tips that I have figured out and I hope that it will help you as you use the Very Bases stamp set and the punch that goes with it. And then if you uh, if you struggle a little bit, you might need that Stamparatus too, um, like I did. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll get started. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of my name. Okay, so cute punch. I mean, I prefer punches any day. I love punches. And they're just, you know, it's just easier sometimes just to grab a punch than, oh, I can see myself in the punch. That's funny. <laughs> um, you know, you can, you can just grab that punch, punch out your image, and you're done. You don't have to go to the big shot or anything like that or use those scissors to cut. So it comes, um, it comes as a bundle. And like I said, there's quite a few tiny pieces, little leaves, and little flowers, and all of that. So a lot of it I didn't have trouble lining up, but a few things I did. So and today I'm going to show you a sample of a card that I pulled in the swirly frames. Um, I got this for free as a door prize when I went to on stage in Fort Worth. And I was like, hmm, I don't know what I'll do with that. I found out something to do with it. So super happy about that. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. All right. Let me show you the cards. And if you'll notice, I'm using the three by five note cards. There's that, what is it called? Swirly frames. And I had to use it again. I just thought it was so cute. This was such a simple card to make so what I want to do, um, I want to keep making these little note cards. And then um, a while back, I was playing with a note card holder. It has a little belly band, and it would hold, I think it holds like five cards and five envelopes. I have some designer series paper that's coming today that'll match my colors better. So I will make that, and I'll post on the blog, and I'll let you guys know so you can hop over there and, and see that too. So, all right, so the bundle is on page 45 and I you know sometimes we miss seeing this little logo if you order the punch and the stamp set together you get 10% off so always look for that little logo I wish it was bigger so that we wouldn't miss that but this stamp set whenever and when you see this little logo um, whenever a Stampin' Up! demonstrator sells a million dollars they get to go to Stampin' Up! in Utah and sit down with the designer and have a stamp set um, that is their set. So, and this is my friend Mary's. Um, she is a fellow Arizoni. Azoni is what we're called. So I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so these are the little note cards that I'm using today. Um, it comes in a pack of 20 with the envelopes. Um, you can mail these in the mail. Um, I haven't mailed them in a while, so I don't think there's extra postage, but you might want to check. All right, so before I show you this, I want to show you that you could punch out um, the images and you could take your pieces, where's my block, like put these on a block and have your um, vases in there and your little flower and your leaf. So I did that at first and then I was like, well, wait, I don't want all my vases to be lovely lipstick I wanted them to be different colors so that's when I went to the Stamparatus so I made a little template and I actually made two templates and when I first punched it when you punch you're punching upside down okay when I first punched it bugged me that they were all upside down so I made another one it doesn't matter. I don't know why I was being silly. I think it was just a, a mental thing. Because once I add the stamps to the Stamparatus, 
it's fine. I'm not having to line something up upside down. I think that's what I was thinking. Well, I don't know how to stamp upside down, so um, it doesn't matter. You know, so you could use this template or um, just turn it around is all I did was turn it around and I wrote the word template and I'm going to stick this in my stamp set so that I always have it for the Stamparatus. So, like I said, I punched out my pieces and I have stuck it to the um, platform and I have the foam piece in there because these are photopolymer stamps and um, I, I took my stamp, let me just show you what I did, and whenever you use photopolymer, you know how they stain, but you know what, you can see it better when they're stained. I may just go do that to all of them. <laughs> so I'm just going to line this up. And I will, I will teach you this tip too. Kind of really make sure it's in there because with the edge of the photopolymer, you might think you have it all the way in there, but it may not be. Does that make sense? So really just kind of seat it in there. And because it's sticking to my nails, it's not wanting to let go. Yep, there we go, let's try this. <laughs> all right, come on. All right, so it's in there. So then I'm just gonna take my top plate and lift that up. If you've seen anything else I've done with the Stamparatus, you know that there are two plates and that you can put stamps on both sides, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some inking. Oh, and let me show you what else I did. I just punched out a bunch of paper. I just took my paper and I just punched out a bunch of images and now I have all these little vases that I can just grab, you know, because if I'm going to be doing this note card holder and giving this as a gift, then I need a bunch of these. So that's why the Stamparatus is going to help me get these little note cards done a lot faster. All right. Okay. So I've got my piece in here and I'm going to uh, these are the new stamp pads, so I'm going to open it up like a compact. I prefer to hold it just like this and slide it in. I'm going to ink this up. Don't worry if you get ink on the Stamparatus. It's not going to get on your paper. And since it's photopolymer, it sticks, and I obviously can't use my magnet. By the way, most of the times I only need one magnet when I am um, using my Stamparatus. So let me see if I can adjust my camera just a little bit. You don't need to see my shirt. You just need to see what I'm showing you guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to lift that off. And now, uh-oh, my stamp was dirty. Ah, I didn't so I see the little dot. All right, let's see what happened here. Well, that just brings me right into showing you the chamois that you can use. The chamois does work really well to um, clean off your. Oh yeah, I see something on the to clean off your stamps um, without getting your fingers inky or anything, and it's not going to leave any lint. Before this came out, we did not have. Um, I was using baby wipes, but I found that I was getting lint on the baby on the baby wipe on the stamp. So I don't have I haven't used it on this, so there's no baby wipe limp. Baby wipe limp, hard to say. All right, so the beauty of this is that every piece of paper we have has two sides. I'm just gonna turn that over and we're gonna do it again. Make sure there's nothing on my pad. Looks good. Ah, it's still there. All right, I'm gonna have to take that off and scrub it, but it's, I don't know what it is, but there's just a little tiny dot. But see how perfect it's stamped, other than the dot? Um, so yeah, taking another color. Let me grab another vase this one in and there are solid faces 
as well as these decorative ones, but I think the decorative ones are my favorite. They're really cute. Ta-da! See how perfect? It's such a simple process that you just, I mean, it made me fall in love with the stamp set even more after I figured out how to pull in my um, Stamparatus. Okay, let's just do one more color. Oh, I strongly encourage you to, on the back, there are labels. I encourage you to put that one in there so that you know because yesterday I didn't do that to all of them because they're brand new you know we're so busy playing with everything they're brand new and I did not do that and I almost messed up so make sure you do that I always love telling you guys um, my mistakes so that you learn from them and maybe you won't do the same thing Uh-oh. You know, when I put that down, I thought it wasn't lined up. So let me fix this. Remember, every piece of paper has two sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. And I'm going to put that back in. Like that. Grab it. my vase back in. So the Stamparatus, like I said, will help you when you're doing multiple images or multiple projects. Um, like, you know, I said, the little holder either holds four or five note cards. Well, that's a lot of little stamping and punching. Okay, uh, the blue one. better and that time it stuck so um, sometimes it usually always sticks to the to the stamp but there you go so you saw how I messed up but you saw how easy it is to fix okay okay so huh. I just stuck my finger in the pad oh goodness well the chamois to the rescue because it is sitting right here. There we go. Okay. All right. So I'm done showing you. I think you get the idea. Um, what I want to show you now is how to stamp a card that I had an idea for. You know, years ago, Stampin' Up! called our catalog an idea and catalog book. I don't know when they got away from that, but I look at this book all the time for inspiration. So when I had this open, I looked at the samples. Well, that framelit's coming. I don't have that yet. So what I like to do is to try to copy what's in the book. So I went with this option because it's a little four by four card. And since I'm using the note cards, then, um, you know, it would be a closer, I would come closer to copying it and maybe I wanna make some changes, which I am, but this is my inspiration. It's an idea for me to get started, okay? So I have my note cards, and I have the, um, I think this is petal pink layer, okay? So that's gonna go on there. And then I decided, I'm using all of the new in colors. I decided that if I'm gonna put it in that little note holder, I want all my colors to be the same. So I needed to switch up my colors this looked like to me, it was like Calypso Coral or something. So I went with um, the Lovely Lipstick and the Whisper What. And both of these are um, two and three quarters, same size. My little strip on here was Crumb Cake. Well, that didn't go for me. So I'm changing it to the Pineapple Punch. Again, sticking with the 2018-2020 um, in colors. Um, and this was three inches by... Uh, three quarters of an inch. And then this was um, uh, three and a quarter by four and three quarters, okay? And I'll have all these measurements um, on the replay. I'll 
Well, no, I can't do it on the replay. I can do it, um, I can post those measurements if you need to. So again, this was my inspiration. Let me get my stamp pads. I'm gonna set this aside. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Hold on. Let's see if I can pull this back in. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to take the Whisper Watt. And since I'm going to be kind of stamping off, let me grab a piece of scratch paper. I don't want to stamp on my paper piercing mat. Since these are photopolymer, um, you know, you, you run the risk of getting... I'm not getting a good crisp image if you don't use the paper piercing mat. All right, so I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna stamp some flowers randomly. And um, I probably, because this is yellow, I probably should have used the stamp apparatus for this. That wasn't bad. Kind of hard to see, but I'm not going to stress if I don't get it lined up, and I am not getting it lined up. Let me do better. Yeah. It's all good. Let's see. Hmm. Let me try it this way. We're going to do the outline first. Like I said, I don't mind a bit if I make a mistake when I'm doing this because then you guys will learn. Huh, <laughs> I'm still not getting it. Oh, that was better. I obviously should have practiced this first. Yeah, I should have. All right, we're just gonna go with it. The rest of mine don't have to line up, so that's a good thing. All right, so I'm gonna take I'm doing the lovely lipstick and I'm going to stamp off so that I get a softer and not so dark image. So you can just see the difference when I did that, okay? All right, so then this one I'm going to take, and it was just kind of a fun little flowers. Okay. All right, so we're done with that. And now we're going to stamp our sentiment. And the sentiment says, hoping your day blooms with happiness. And I'm going to use memento ink. I'm stamping off to the right just a little bit. Because, where is my uh, baker's twine? Hiding behind the laptop. It had um, a little bit of baker's twine on it. And the way that they did it had a little button I didn't have those buttons yet, so I'm just going to tie a bow and stick it on. So again, this is for inspiration, but your card, my card, is going to look totally different when done, but I was inspired by what I saw in the idea book and catalog. Get some scissors. And a glue dot. Okay. By the way, if I didn't mention it, which I don't think I did, if you do not have this idea book and catalog, you can send me a private message and I will send one to you. Um, I just, 
there's just something about having it in your hands versus uh, looking at it online. All right, so I'm gonna add my layer. And these cards, um, I use my bone folder, but they still kind of want to stay open. So I do find that it's easier if I just go ahead and open it up. I'm not fighting that movement of, the, of it not being flat. Okay. So when you look at the picture, they offset that Calypso coral underneath. So I'm going to do the same thing with my um, lovely lipstick. That. And then I'm going to add this layer more straight on. Eh, now we're going to crook it the other way. And then I want some dimensionals. Oops. You know, I've been doing these Facebook Labs, and it just seems like they're pretty much right at 25 to 30 minutes. I guess, I guess that's just my speed. And then we're going to, oops, we need our ribbon. So I didn't, you know, this is the new catalog, and I don't have everything yet. It's coming. I'm As much as I can get, I, it's coming. But I did have this ribbon, and that was the ribbon that they used in the sample. So I went and got it. And I think it's close enough that it's going to be okay. So that's what we're using today. Um, and it looks like they took and went off of both sides. Whoops. Actually, I'm going to use my little banner. It goes off of both sides of the banner. You know, so even though you may not have everything that they're showing in the sample, like I said, your card is going to look totally different when you're done. So we're going to use a little bit of snail in the back of our ribbon. Love my silicone mat. I'm telling you, we all need those if you don't have one. Just keeps your work surface so much tidier. You don't have sticky stuff everywhere. Eh, that didn't line up right. You know what? I'm gonna trim that more at an angle. Okay, we're gonna put that there. Got my, whoops. Had a little crease in my ribbon. And then I'm going to put that right there. Okay. Let's compare. I like mine better because I love the brighter colors. But anyway, so um, just like I said, if you, if you will look through this idea book and catalog, you will be inspired and even if you don't have the new stamp sets or the new colors, just look at the pictures in there and just be inspired by what you do have. If I can ever answer any questions, like if you want to know how did they make the card or what did they use to make the card on page 44, you can send me a private message and I can let you know that information. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that I gave you some tips on how to use the varied bases and the punch. Um, one thing I did mention, when you use the punch and you're punching your paper, you kind of need to be mindful of if you're going to be, let's say you stamped a bunch of vases on a piece of Whisper Watt, you need to be mindful how you're punching because your punch is going to be punching more than just that one image. Make sense? Yeah, I probably should have added that on here too, but you'll understand what I'm saying the first time you use it and you're going to go, that's what Sharon was talking about. So anyway, thanks for 
Thanks for spending the time today with me, and I really appreciate it, and um, I hope you guys have a happy day. Bye.